Good morning, family and friends. Uh, this is Pastor Tim from Orwell North Presbyterian Church. I uh, hope and trust that you had an absolutely wonderful Easter weekend, the best that you could have based on the circumstances. And um, I'm just glad that you're here this morning. It's another Monday morning, and um, we're going to get into some scripture this morning and talk about things we should be watching for uh, today. So I'm going to read a couple of scriptures to you this morning. The first one is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 52. 1 Corinthians 15, 52, Paul says this, In a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 42, Jesus said this, Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. And finally, in the book of Micah, chapter 7 and verse 7, Micah said, But as for me, I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God, my Savior. Do you remember waking up Christmas morning and being so excited that you could hardly contain yourself? I mean, you, you were crazy excited. Today is the day. You've waited and you've watched for this day for what seems like forever, and now it's finally here. That childlike enthusiasm that you had for Christmas morning was something that our parents waited for, and they cherished that moment. I can remember as a parent... Uh, you know, it, it, it stunk getting woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning, but then watching the excitement on your kids' faces was just something that uh, I cherished. The scriptures tell us that the day that we've all been waiting for, the day when Jesus appears in the skies, that day will come, but we just don't know when. That beautiful day when all this mess will cease this promise and is coming. So we should wake up every day with enthusiastic excitement. Today should be no different. We should live today like we can't wait. That is what our Father cherishes and He waits for. The Bible tells us it should be waiting and we should be watching. We do not know what day it will be, but we should, as Micah, watch and hope for the Lord. So let me ask you a question. Are you just going about your business or doing business as usual? Or are you watching and waiting? How many days in a row now have you woken up and not thought today could be the day? Are you thinking about it? When you do, do you welcome it or do you dread it? You see, we're not commanded to just watch, but to keep watch. It could be right now. I mean, right, right now. The question is, are you ready? Friends, I hope you have a blessed morning and a blessed day. Keep watch. Amen.